Hey guys, it's Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to do a mini first impression slash review video on the IOPE Intense Cover Air Cushion. And I've tried the natural version before, and I remember really liking that one too. So I bought this one because I really wanted to try a cushion that has really high coverage. So before I talk about what I think, I'm going to have my first impressions clip over here because I did try this cushion for the first time before I went to LA like two weeks ago. So I'm just going to insert the clip right here. And it's supposed to bring back moisture to the skin as well. We also have a matte version for oily skin, but I wanted to try out this one because I wanted to see if the coverage was really that good. So with one light press on the cushion, I already have pretty high coverage and this is quite different from my other cushions like the Etude House AC Free Cover Cushion AC Free Cushion because that one is the lowest coverage cushion I've ever tried but that one has acne clearing properties which is why I use it but some days I want coverage and I can't be carrying around my concealer all the time so I think this is pretty good so far. I don't know how it's going to wear, but I might bring this cushion to LA with me when I go to KCON and I will see how it performs when I go. But yeah, for now, I think it actually covered up quite a lot, so I'm pretty impressed with it. It didn't settle into any dry areas or like any dead skin that wasn't exfoliated but for all cushions or foundations make sure you exfoliate to get the best results on your skin otherwise it might look cakey for some reason this one didn't look cakey on me so I'm quite impressed so far not sure about longevity yet but I will once again let you guys know um, it feels quite moist which is one of the selling points for the IOPE cushion. I will update you guys later on the performance. So, bye for now. Okay guys, so you just watched the first impressions. So at first impressions, you can see I had a lot of redness on my face, especially around my nose. And the cushion did cover it, so I was quite impressed. And I am wearing the cushion today, and it's like 90 degrees outside today, so it's really hot. So I'm like sweating in this makeup, but I wanted to talk about this product for you guys. So like I said before, this is the intense cover version of the IOPE air cushion. And there are four versions. IOPE has the cover version, the natural version, the intense cover version, which is what I'm reviewing today, and the matte long wear cushion. So I've only tried the natural cushion before this one, so I can only reference to that one. So compared to the natural cushion, the scent of both cushions smell the same. And they both have a honeycomb design on the sponge. So when you press it, it distributes the product more evenly. This cushion is definitely more high coverage than the natural one. I really like the natural version and, and as I'm wearing this one, I, I do really like this one because the design of the IOPE cushions is that they're supposed to provide coverage at the same time, 
keeping the moisture in your skin so that your skin doesn't look patchy or dry throughout the day. I do think this cushion lasts a long time. If we compare this to the natural version, I think the, the wear time is about the same. But this one, but this one, like I said earlier, has higher coverage. If you do plan on wearing this on a hot day or a day where you know you're going to be sweating a lot, make sure you powder this at the end of your makeup routine because that's the only way the makeup won't fade. If you as with any cushions, if you don't finish if you don't finish off with a setting powder, your makeup won't look flawless throughout the day and you will have to reapply. But honestly, I am not much of a person to reapply my cushion because I think that if I mix the makeup with my sweat, I'm just going to break out more. So I just don't do that. Um, besides that, I got this cushion in shade 21C and I got the natural and I got the natural version in shade 23. I think both shades match me pretty well. 23 is more of a perfect match for me, but because I wanted some brightening on my face, I went with the 21C version. And I like how it looks on me. If you think a cushion is too light on you, then you can always make it look more natural by contouring. As for the price point of the cushion, I believe it's around $30, but it does come with a refill with an extra puff. So I think in the end, the cushion is worth it. As I am wearing this cushion today, I did powder it a bit so that it wouldn't wear off. I do like the finish of it. The finish of the cushion is not completely dewy, but it does give off a healthy glow. If you wanna go for a matte finish, then make sure you powder your face after you apply the cushion or go with a long wear version of this cushion. So if you have a pretty tan complexion, I don't recommend these cushions for you because they won't have your shade. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please like this video down below and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Thank you.